Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We bought a Tesla Model Y close to a year ago and to be completely honest, we have not used it much yet. The go-to car for family trips is the plug-in hybrid Chrysler Pacifica. We have a red Model Y with white interiors and FSD. Every now and then we like to experience Tesla's autopilot. In one of the recent updates came along the Smart Summon feature. So let's go try it out. This is super scary. There's no one in the car. And what worries me is what if it misbehaves? There's no one who can control it. Okay. And well, it did summon. Okay, so I'm sitting in the car and my husband's going out there and he's going to summon the car. The smart summon is different from the regular summon in the way that the summon only worked when the driver was in the line of sight of the car. You can do a smart summon while still being inside the building. The car would pull out from the parking and go to wherever you set as the target. On the app, we can set the target and then press and hold the go to target button. The car will drive itself to the target. In the first attempt, it stopped right in front of my husband and it was pretty neat. In the second attempt, I decided to sit in the back seat of the car while he summoned the car over. 1 p.m. just so that there's no one around, no kids around. And look at all the beautiful, lovely fall colors. Oh my gosh. But. Oh god. It was oh a bit god. weird oh feeling, god. but the scary part was around here when the car wavered and wasn't able to decide oh. whether to go left oh. or right. Where is it going? Okay. There was a bit of a shake as it as if it was confused whether to go left or right. And then it has turned around and parked right in front of him. And it keeps going. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. That was a sort of a jerk and it's parked itself. Okay, summon and then you can set the target. Okay, it's, it's close to wherever we are. Ready? Yeah. And click on go to target. Okay. So I missed it. It says stopping. What happened? I removed. You have to keep pressing it. Oh, you have to hold? Mm. Okay, let's go again. So that's probably what happened when I was inside the car. Okay, the car started to move. I'm going to try and get closer to it. In the next attempt, we tried to summon it from the parking to the driveway. It sort of stopped and parked itself a little far off and we were wondering if it was because I was closer to the car and my phone has the app and the car key installed. So maybe it detected me and stopped near me. We also drove around to try out the latest FSD features and the new aerial view. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you.
switches to area view at junctions and then it will switch back to the regular view yeah just right here so just before a junction or traffic light goes into that aerial view and here's another traffic light approaching it's gonna go and let's see at some time at some point it should bring up the aerial view There you go, it's switched over. All right. Okay, so it's supposed to yield on green to go left. And it's doing that right. Whew. Okay, that was just a little bit scary. We are close to home, so I'm starting to record again. Um, because the last time, um, that was before the current update, before we received the last, the latest update. Um, when we had set to FSD um, going home, just before it arrived on our driveway, it, the car was literally wiggling, unable to decide which way to go. So I want to see if it would do that again. Let navigation complete but that's not correct because it press it, press accelerator to resume okay that's that's our house and okay 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 oh wow oh wow this was this was extremely smooth this time oh my gosh this was too good I wish I had a recording of the last time. So in the current version of autopilot, um, so full self driving supervised. So we had it on chill. So whatever you guys saw was on chill. And then there's average and assertive. Um, and then minimal lane change. Yes, that you have it off. Okay, we had it off. And then uh, lane change notification, automatic speed set off. Um, okay, offset, sorry. ASS actual start summon, that was the one we tried earlier. Um, speed limit rev relative, forward collision warning medium. Hmm. Lane departure. So these are this these were our um settings green traffic light chime okay yeah that happens either way irrespective of the fsd automatic emergency braking disable fsd okay um so there was something about the most natural way of driving or something that i'm trying to figure out where that would be so we had it on chill and that's how we've always use the FSD but yeah there's a lot of settings that you can play around with to find what works best for you